Hello and welcome to Step by Step by Miriam. In this short video I want to show you how to use the VLOOKUP formula with the word FALSE. Uh, if you've watched my previous video with the VLOOKUP function you will notice that I have not used the word FALSE, very deliberately so, but in this one I want to show you why you would use and when you would use the word FALSE. So using this example then in cell C14, for those of you that, are, that may not have looked at my previous video, a VLOOKUP formula is used when you have a table and this is our table, this is our product table and here we've got a list of items, potatoes, plums, oranges, onions, mangoes, whatever and then we've got our prices here on the right hand side and so just very simply this is going to be our lookup table so there's nothing very you know mysterious about it, it's purely just prices, you know the items one side and the prices the other and as many spreadsheets have, this is a, this is a very common feature in, in a lot of spreadsheets. So there's nothing too mysterious about it. But that's known in the Excel form as a VLOOKUP, simply because it's vertical. There's the, there's the list, yeah? And there's the list, just a corresponding list on the right-hand side. One of the first things that you must do before you even begin a VLOOKUP formula is to actually sort your list in alphabetical order or ascending order if it's numeric by the first column. That's terribly important. I'll say it again. The first step before you begin a VLOOKUP formula is to sort the data in your table by alphabetical order, by the first column or ascending order if it's numeric. So we're going to do that. That's our first step. So I'm going to select the cell range that I wish to have an alphabetical order and then I'm going to go over to the editing group select the sort and filter command and click on that and just simply click on sort A to Z and it does it instantly. The next step is to select cell C14. Now in cell C14 what I require is I require Excel to look up oranges from the lookup table from the cell range A2 right down to B10 so I'm saying to cell from this cell I want you to look up this item from this table, return the price, then multiply the price by the quantity and put the answer in here. So we're going to do it. So it's a VLOOKUP equals V lookup. open brackets. Start with this cell range, start with this cell item and cell A14, then, so now I put in my comma, go to the table array from A2 to B10. Because this is a VLOOKUP table, I must make it an absolute. And to do that, I just simply press F4 function key on the keyboard. So by pressing your F4 key, this will apply an absolute to that cell range. And of course, then we put in another comma to say, and go to the second column, because this is where our prices are, so we put in the two, go to the second column, so two stands for the second column. Let me just um, close the bracket at this point without false, just to show you why we need the word false. Close brackets, and then multiply it by the quantity. So then when you've that done, multiply it by the quantity in this cell, which is B14. So our lookup formula said, look, would you look up, starting with the orange, find it in the lookup table above, then go to the second column, or you'll find the price for the orange, then multiply it by B14, enter. And it does precisely what it's asked. And then we drag it down. And you will notice that it actually calculated a price for carts. C-A-R-T-S. Now if you observe and have a look at our product list, there is nowhere on our product list that has carts. There are no carts. But what Excel has done, it has found the closest match to the word carts, found carts, returned the, the value for carts, multiplied it by the quantity and put it in here, which is completely wrong. So this is why we require the word false. So now I'm going to take out the formula and give you a chance just to have a look at it again. So it's equals VLOOKUP open brackets, 
look up starting with this item then comma go to the cell range from A2 to B10 make that absolute by pressing F4 function key on your keyboard and then go to so here's your other comma column 2 and now we put in our protection then so here comes another comma then anything else is false so we put in the word false close our brackets multiply that by the quantity enter go back into where the formula is and drag it down and you'll see this time that it did not calculate the word carts because carts was not found in the table array above because we said if you find anything else other than what's here it's false so it will not calculate it so again we just come back here and there you go Excel now calculates the carrots correctly I hope this has made it a little clear more clearly for you if not try it yourself set up a little exercise and try it yourself using both methods just to see how it will work and how the formula behaves. Thank you for watching Step by Step by Miriam and look out for my other videos.